And ahead of the lifting of the mask mandate, the head of Ontario's science advisory table is resigning and moving on to a new opportunity. For more, we're joined by the man himself. Dr. Peter Uni is live with us tonight. Uh, Dr. Peter Uni, first off, congratulations to you. And, you know, I can see you're all smiles, perhaps bittersweet. Last time we spoke to you several hours ago, you hadn't had a chance to tell everyone in your inner circle. So has that taken place yet? I'm sure word has gone now. Yeah, yeah, it has. It has indeed. Okay. All uh, good. All good. Okay, good. happy to hear. Uh, now, Dr. Uni, you were clear on the advisory table's perspective on having more time to see more data before the mask mandate was lifted in Ontario. This is, this is one of a handful of items in your tenure that you and the province have disagreed on. Uh, so when I heard the news that you were resigning first, I thought, does this have anything to do with it? No, no, not at all. Look, uh, we talked about that. Um, our family is uh, is uh, split. You know, we have a lot of uh, of our family in uh, continental Europe. Um, uh, our parents, uh, two of our children who are uh, older are, are over there too. And uh, so it was uh, became very clear during the pandemic, especially also for my wife, that uh, with uh, the issues we had with uh, two of our parents, you know, getting uh, quite ill during the pandemic, um, that it's probably time to move. And mm -hmm. when Oxford very generously just, um, you know, made this offer and actually created this position for me, um, it was, just felt as the right move. And uh, I I, I signed the offer probably end of January, and we then started to work, you know, on, uh, you know, this transition phase. I'm still hanging around, you know, we will only move uh, end of the school year. So it was just basically coming out today because there was information that leaked out somewhere in the system, and then you <laughs> need to go with the flow. You know? And, you know, so you kept it a secret for quite a while. And the reason I asked if the mask mandate had anything to do with it is because this isn't the first time you'd considered resigning as the head of Ontario's science table but but I will move on from that unless you want to address that no, 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 no it, you're right. But, you know, the last time it was really just, a, it was a completely different situation. Mm. We were in a completely different part of the pandemic. And there I was wondering whether our way of communication was just simply not good enough. We had some communication breakdown there. And I was wondering whether I was actually up for the job. And that there it was indeed, I was thinking aloud, would it be better if I let this go and do something else? And then decided to continue after talking to my colleagues, my family, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, uh, look, it's a challenging position because, as you've explained before, what you do is provide the science and the data, and it's up to elected officials to take that information and to make a decision. Now, with this decision you've made to pursue a new opportunity at Oxford in the UK, some people may say, well, is Dr. Uni moving on now because the pandemic is over? And you've been quite clear it is not. Correct. No, um, it, it moves into a different phase, which is already great news. We just shouldn't pretend it's over. This continues to be a pandemic. Why? We will see infectious wave, hopefully only seasonally or when a new variant comes up. But since we have developed a lot more immunity, mainly through uh, three doses of a vaccine, um, it will be less um, imposing on us and it will mean less uh, risk of serious outcomes for us. That's the point. But, you know, we don't know what the next variant will be. And the next variant could well also be, again, a bit more severe. This was just dumb block that Omicron was a bit less severe, but it was still very challenging. So we just need to keep being alert. Things will get much easier why we have um, vaccines, we have masks, and we will have new uh, antivirals that will help us too, unless we're being street smart and use all these tools really well. Mm -hmm. Then we won't most likely not, uh, not need more restrictions in the future, but it's just important to stay alert and to be realistic. And we do have masks, but it's a choice in, in most places choice. as of Monday. Uh, Dr. Uni, you said something to my colleague Reshmi Nair earlier that you believe that there may be a return to masking here in this province. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, look, we need to be aware of that. Um, when, if we're lucky and it's only seasonal, when this is becoming seasonal and we see late autumn that infections go up, based on everything I see, you know, with our models, etc., we can expect that the wave that we will see is much higher than a, than a flu wave. Meaning, for a flu wave, if it gets severe, it's perhaps 15% of the population 
once exposed, develop uh, you know symptoms uh, of an of an infection. Mm-hmm. Um, for for COVID, it will be more probably like forty to fifty percent. No, and this means um, even if this then, be, thanks to our vaccination rollout, becomes you know uh, as severe as the flu, it's three times more people who get infected, meaning we will still see much more burden in our healthcare system. Mm -hmm. And this just, uh, you know, the conclusion of that is we need to keep going and we might need again, you know, some boost to uh, boost our short term immunity against infection in November, one of the things. And the other thing is for most people, masks are really an easy way to contribute to a protection of the population and themselves. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Uni, you've been very good to us here at CP24. I don't think there's ones we've ever asked you to come on that you've said no. Uh, So we certainly appreciate it. And and in saying that, what has been the favorite part of the job for you? Certainly it's been important for you to get the message out so frequently. I think, you know, I I always uh, told my wife and uh, and others, from my perspective, that's just public health in action. If we don't keep the information going and if you don't understand what our thinking is, you know, why should you care? And I see that in other places, you know, Switzerland was not that well on the way. And uh, I looked a few times, you know, just there also just to understand, probably it just keeps being a good idea just to be out there and discuss what's happening and just, you know, give an an honest account about uh, where we are, where it's going, even though sometimes the news weren't that favorable. That's part of this, you know. Mm. This is the same when I still was, you know, a clinical uh, physician and was working with patients. I just feel it's important to be soft but truthful. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Uni, whether people agree with you or not, uh, you certainly have made a a large contribution here to this province throughout the pandemic. So thank you. We know you're not leaving yet, so we will talk to you again. But thank you for sharing your news with us today in some perspective. Thanks for having me.